All right, if we got the marks uh, set, pretty much exact where they need to be, and we'll see what happens, huh, Phil? Yes, sir. Hey guys, Capper here, and welcome back. Today's mission is I'm going to take this three-point tree spade, which is made for a tractor, and we are going to convert it so that it fits the new Bobcat skid steer. So we're going to basically fabricate a plate that's going to go between the skid steer and this tree spade so that I can use it on the new skid steer. So let's have some fun. Okay, so originally Phil came over and we were just going to get a game plan together because I ordered this skid steer plate and it just arrived yesterday. But we found out we had enough parts to make this thing happen. So uh, we started going to town, filled it all the welding because he's a much better welder than I am. But we had everything we need in spare parts. I took this top hook off of the Branson tractor quick attach. So I'm going to have to order another one of those. But since we had everything we needed, we had the welder, we were going to go to town and gosh, I'll be dang, we got this thing actually done. So let's see how it went. Okay, the first step was to shuffle things around in the pole barn so we can get at this tree spade. So I put the skid steer to work with the pallet forks, moved this four row planter, and then Phil was able to slide the tree spade out back in front so that we could access it with the skid steer and get the project lined up. So then we took this I-match hook right there, we lined it all up, and we tack welded that on for step number one of making this happen. And we used my Lincoln Buzz Box for the welding. Well, it would have been close, but I don't know how much that beast weighs. I went ahead and pulled, picked up on it a little bit to try to center this a little bit better also. Yeah, so, I figured so you were keeping that in mind somehow. <clears throat> yep. All right, mm -hmm. duct tape. Good for everything, right, Phil? Yes, sir. I'm Improvising and adapting to get this thing as close to perfect as possible. We're going to set that hook in here and we're going to mark out them bottom two. So this is going to be an adapter basically. Instead of uh, totally transforming this into a skid steer, it could still be the skid steer or the tractor with this adapter plate right here. That's the plan at least. Right? That's what's happening. That's what's going to happen. happen. It's going to happen, right? There we go. We don't want to trip and drop this on ourselves. Or our tool partner. Okay.
par out of it, and then try it and see. Because it did. I mean, it lined up pretty darn good. Was it just the tape? Yeah, the tape just because it once it balled up a little bit. Okay, the final welds are going on. We got it all in place. So he's going to beef it up with some mega welds and then we're done. All right, it's been 20 years since the master has stick welded, but look at this. Oh, nice. Beautiful. And what are we using on that? 6013? 7018. 7018. AC. Okay, it's totally done. It's still cooling off. But it is totally done. I'll probably paint it in the next couple days and get it installed. And once this baby's on there, it really ain't going to come off. But Phil's idea was fantastic in that if I ever want to sell that tree spade or use it on a tractor, we just pull these two bottom pins out and boom, now it's back ready for a tractor. So good day of success here. Thanks again, Phil. Greatly appreciated. I look forward to getting the machines over to your farm so we can fix some stuff over there. All right, Phil, take a look at that. One coat of paint, time to call it in, but huge success. Big time success on the uh, adapter plate.